Hello everyone, I'm Autumn. Today I want to introduce our new products, Smart OTDR. The FHO 2000. This Smart OTDR combines the function of the OTDR, power meter, visual fault locator, and uh, power bank. This smart OTDR are without display. It shows on the, on the cell phone with the Wi-Fi. So, uh, let me show you this smart OTDR. As you can see, this is a small unit and really portable. So before I show you the function, I want to show you the three ports. You can see here, it has the three ports. The VFL port, optical power meter port, and the OTDR port. In addition, it has a USB port. It can charge in the cell phone through the USB. So now let me switch on this smart OTDR. Before showing how to test, I want to introduce this four button. This button is a Wi-Fi button. This button is an optical power meter button. It can test the power level and it has another function. When I, uh, when I press the first time, it, will, it can switch the testing wavelength from the 850, of 850 nanometers. Uh, yes. To the 1650 nanometers. This button is a visual fault locator button. When I press the first time, it shows the red light. We can do a small test. Be before connect uh, co connection the SC UPC connector. I need to clean it for three times. Okay, now we connect it. So we can see And another function of the visual fault locator, when I press the second time, the red light flash. The last button is the touch button. When I press the first time, the screen are enlightened. When I press it for over two seconds, it shows the function as a torch. Now I close it. Now we do some test. Before testing, we need to uh, do the Wi-Fi connection with the smart OTDR. You can see this smart OTDR is connected to the FHO 2000. Okay. Then we open the software. This software can download from the Apple and Android store. In, uh, this is the main screen of our software. It shows the OTDR test 
parameter sets, local file, and uh, device introduction. In this page, it shows the parameters of a testing. You can change the average time, pulse width, wavelength in this page. But if you are fresh, we can do auto configuration. Now we connect it to the OTD. And the begin test. The whole test uh, will last a few seconds. Okay, so test results shows. When I press this button, it shows two cursors, cursor A and cursor B. I can move the cursor A and cursor B to the event. We can see here, the length is a 2.891 kilometers. We can see the this real fiber. The length is 2.848 meters, so it's almost the same. In addition, we can zoom in and zoom out the screen to see some detailed event. When I press this, this button, it shows the event. In this test, uh, it only has one event. At last, we can save this result. We can rename it as FHO. Two thousand, and save. Okay, success. So we can uh, connect a USB port with a PC and the result will show on the PC screen.